Masterful News fans, as we can see now, the situation in Crimea, in Ukraine, is just absolutely exploding. Now that is, it's official that tens of thousands of Russian troops have now moved into Crimea with the specific purpose of defending Russian interests in the country. And this is making the whole situation a lot worse. Uh, threats have been made from the U.S., uh, NATO, that they may actually send forces in to counter the Russian forces that are now inside the country. And this is looking like it has the potential, although I seriously doubt it would happen, to turn into a full-fledged war between the West and Russia. Again, I don't believe that's going to happen because I don't think the situation is that important that it would warrant possibly starting an entire world war over. Now, the reason Russia has done this and why they originally had a legal right to do so was that there is a Russian military base in Crimea. And the agreement with the previous government said that Russia had the right to send a particular amount of force necessary into the country to defend that, mili that military base. Now, they have stepped way beyond that. And they have sent forces that essentially are seeming to trying to encompass all of uh, Crimea itself. And there have now been reports of attacks being launched against Crimea from the Nazi forces that are inside the country. Now, have no illusions. Uh, Russia has taken this too far, meaning they've gone beyond simply defending their particular military base that's inside the country. It's expanded well beyond that, and Russia is basically in violation of the law. But you can certainly understand why they're doing it, even though it is illegal. Now, this outpost is actually very important because it's a great link for the, uh, for the commercial interests that are both inside Ukraine and Russia, meaning Capitalist-wise, in terms of business, trade, and whatnot, this is actually a very important area. This is the, this is where the you know commercial interests kind of meet up, and it's very important to you know, imports and exports coming between the Ukraine and Russia. Losing this base would actually be a tremendous loss to the Russian economy. Uh, for one thing, uh, Ukraine is a breadbasket for Russia, meaning there's a lot of food that's coming out of it. Uh, there's not just you know a, a ton of trade that also goes through, but natural gas from Russia goes to Ukraine. And now if this were to be lost and that ties between Ukraine and Russia were to be lost, I could actually definitely see it happening that Russia would just basically cut off, you know, natural gas to Ukraine and that would absolutely devastate the country. Now the reason they can do that is because Russia is the basically the largest player in that regard. So Russia basically has a very large percentage of the energy resources in that area of the world and a lot of the countries even those in the EU are dependent on getting that material from Russia so as you can imagine again we see energy concerns even but to a much lesser degree also playing out in this scenario let us have no illusions about what's happening Russia is essentially trying to go into an independent nation and secure it for its own interests I mean this is an imperialist invasion have no doubt this is actually a, an imperialist conflict between the US, the EU, and Russia. Both of them are imperialist powers, and the, Russia being imperialist itself is, is blatantly demonstrated right here. They have violated the sovereign territory of an independent nation, all for the express purpose of defending its interests. Now, this is an inter-imperialist conflict, meaning both sides in this conflict are imperialists, while the Ukraine is the victim of imperialism. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not pro-Putin in any way. I am, however, anti-Nazi, which is what the forces in the country are acting right now. These, you know, just the regular people coming up and attacking the government are Nazis. This is well documented. We know it. They're white supremacists. They're fascists. They're Nazis. It's not even worth arguing about anymore. We know that's what it is. And to hell with them. To hell with fascists. And in this situation, it is, it is right to back Russia against fascists. It was right to do it with the Soviet Union, and it's right to do it now. The point is, we have the U.S. and the EU, essentially NATO, backing Nazis taking over the, taking over the country. What we see, once again, U.S. imperialism siding with fascism, imperialism in general siding with fascism, in order to carry us tasks, despite you know all the lofty claims that is made about that it's, it's here to defend freedom and it's to boast people's independence, we see quite clearly this this fascist coup that's trying to take place is being backed by the U.S. and is being backed by the EU. All of this for the main specific purpose, not for liberating Ukraine, because it 
wasn't actually being dominated by anyone. It wasn't being occupied by anyone up until now. The point was to undermine Russian influence in the region, and that's what this is all about. And that's why Russia is trying so hard to keep a hold of the country. That's the situation we're facing right now. Do I like allying with Putin? Absolutely not. But I do like fighting U.S. imperialism, and I do like opposing Nazis taking control of a very large European nation. And that's the stance that we should take. I mean, this is inter-imperialist rivalry, and we do have to understand the contradiction between the two sides. Remember, it's always right to fight fascism. And as much as I don't like really taking sides in, in between two imperialist powers, whatever stops fascism and its growing influence in Europe just has to be supported. Thank you for watching. Please comment and rate the video. If you liked it, hit subscribe or check out some of these other great videos. If you wish, share it on social media. And while you're at it, why don't you follow me on Twitter? And if you got time, go on over to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available.